Hey Internet, for this video I'm going to show how to root a Google Nexus phone or tablet the super easy way with the Nexus Root Toolkit by Wugfresh. This toolkit works with almost every Nexus device and is convenient because everything is done through a script. Okay, let's begin. First download the Google USB driver for Nexus devices. These USB drivers should work with all Nexus devices. The link for the driver is in the description. Note, your computer will most likely automatically install these drivers the moment the Nexus is plugged in. So downloading the drivers is only for the off chance that Windows fails to download these drivers. And believe me, that can happen. Save this file to a directory of your choice. Once the download is finished, open the directory it's located in. Have the drivers ready in case they aren't installed yet. This is the Google Nexus 6. The routing done on this video should work with most Nexus devices. Open Settings, About Phone, press Build Number until Developer Options is enabled. Go to Developer Options. Make sure OEM unlocking and USB debugging are enabled. Plug in the USB data cable to the phone and computer. You should get this message, allow USB debugging. Press always, then OK. Once connected, the computer should automatically install the drivers. If not, you have them downloaded for a manual install. Let the USB driver finish installing. While it's doing that, download the Nexus Root Toolkit. You can download the Nexus Root Toolkit at wugfresh.com slash nrt. Link will be in the description. This root toolkit only works for Nexus devices. The supported Nexus devices are shown on the website. Click the direct download link. Save it in the same directory you downloaded the Google USB drivers in. Open the directory and install the Nexus Root Toolkit. Install. The Nexus Root Toolkit will ask for the model type of the Nexus device connected to the computer. Make sure your Nexus device is connected via USB cable then click Auto Detect Device. I have a Nexus 6 so it should detect it as that. All right, now click Apply. You should get this pop-up telling you to enable USB debugging. 
We did that earlier in the video. The Nexus device should already be connected via USB. Click OK. Click download and update all file dependencies. Once that's done, click continue. Okay, the Nexus Root Toolkit now has what it needs to root your Nexus device. Before rooting, we need to unlock the bootloader. I already unlocked my bootloader beforehand, but for the sake of the video, I will run the script just to show how it works. Click Unlock. You'll get this message. Before proceeding, double check and make sure OEM Unlock and USB Unlock is enabled. Keep in mind, once you press OK, the Nexus will be factory reset, so back up your files if you haven't already. Click OK when ready. It's important not to touch the phone while the Nexus Root Toolkit runs its script. The script will restart my phone, since it's not in bootloader mode. I time-lapse this part to make the video shorter. The script should take the phone into bootloader mode where it will unlock the device. If the device is already unlocked, like mine, it will just reboot. With the Nexus device unlocked, we can finally root it. Click the Root button. You'll get this long message before proceeding. Once again, enable USB debugging and unlock like we did earlier. Go to Settings, Developer Options. If that option is missing, go to About Phone and tap Build Number till it's enabled. Make sure OEM Unlocking and USB Debugging are enabled. If the USB cable is plugged in, it should ask Allow USB Debugging. Press Always and OK. If the USB cable is not plugged in, do so now and press Always and OK to the message. Click OK. I time-lapse this part. The script will reboot the device back into bootloader mode and use TWRP to root it. At this point, do not touch or disconnect the Nexus device while the script runs. This could take between 5 to 10 minutes depending on what Nexus device you have. Once the script finishes booting the Nexus, this message will appear. Now when we check the Nexus, we see that Super SU is installed. Settings Enable Super User is checked, indicating we have rooted successfully.
And that's it. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.